Hello, this is Chuck. We're back again with Sherlock Holmes. The Awakened, and we need to defeat this guy. Really? Really? He like... <sighs> well, okay, whatever. I'm going up to the top of the stairs. See ya, bye. I don't know. I guess I don't know why I kept thinking that there needs to be a circle around the star. Now that I think about it. Because it just said... The clue I was given was an eye with a star? Or was it a circle? I don't know. Let's just go up. It is locked. The only way in is to batter it down. Your friend will have a hard time, and you too, my friend. On, kill me! You're too late. Nothing will stop the master from finishing his work. And why is that? The door is locked with a padlock, and as long as my friend's alive, you'll never have that key. He surely crushed your pathetic friend. Believe me, he's a better man in a fight than me. Cease your prattle. Where is the key? <laughs> Here comes my friend. Where is the key? <laughs> Listen, you fool. What is the good of this great event if you lose your head and hands to a sword? You're right, my dear. Anyway, you'll never get that key so long as my friend's alive. He has it deep and safe in his own... Oh, oh, oh! Holmes, I am in time. As always, Watson, as always. I was quite fortunate. The fall broke the neck of my attacker, but I got off lightly, just some bruises. I am happy to see you safe and sound. Now, we must reach the top of the lighthouse. Interesting, we can't go over the map. Um, possibly on his person? Oh. Okay, you know what? Screw it. No? Nothing? Okay, never mind. Let's go back up. Nothing special through that way. Once you have killed the security guard, quickly turn off the lighthouse so that the master's lights master's light replaces it. Otherwise the dream will not be fulfilled. Rochester. PS I shall soon join you in a few days. That's it. Okay. Okay, quickly. Another thing, I don't know. Just in case you can die in the upcoming moments, and I don't want to have to go through things again because this game doesn't have an automatic save system. So, but we don't have the key. The door is securely fastened and with a formidable lock. 
The man over there, or rather down there, he told me that while this Hindi was alive, I couldn't have the key. Now, where could he have hidden it? Uh, inside the body. I. Your intentions are good, my dear Watson, but you have missed everything of importance. We mean while he's alive. You do not think that he could have... Yes, Watson, you once again grasp the obvious. He must have swallowed the key. I will have to... No, Holmes. I am the doctor here, and we have little time. Sword? Watson! Holmes, at last, here you are. Our informants did not lie. You are a most resourceful and cunning man. And you will have your reward, for you will be in the first box waiting his return. He is near. Can't you hear him? Can't you feel his breath? Leave them. It is time to stop this madness, Lord Rochester. All those people sacrificed for nothing. Flesh. Nothing but soft flesh. Think of your mother. She never gave up. She always loved you, always searched for you. A soft-fleshed creature with no more value than dust. My true mother is the deep blue abyss where my master awaits. He summons me to join the light of Abyss. Join us, Holmes, and you will be part of the dream. Sing with me now. Sing. Do something, Holmes. I won't be able to keep them back for much longer. And, and, my God, the sea is rising. Holmes, make haste or we are lost. Stand firm, Watson. There may be a way. The light! I found it, Watson! Light dispels darkness! I must fire up the lighthouse! Hold fast, Watson! I must continue searching or all is lost! Impossible. 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 Okay, so at some point I realized that my audio recording wasn't actually recording. Went around searching around for the second bottle. No idea. I'm really quite lost. Impossible. Impossible. I need something. 
I need something. Oh. Bravo, Holmes. Ah, no, no, cast out this light. Continue the ceremony. Sing. We must sing. You will never reach the end of your song, Rochester. Take heed as your choir is leaving. Come with me. This place is dangerous. You don't understand, Holmes. He is here. He has come. Rochester! I called you. You came. Take me. I belong to you. The world is yours. Oh, great. A singular destiny was the fate of young Lord Rochester. Those who saved him from drowning in those dark waters off the Indian coast served only to cast him into the true abyss, that of madness, a brilliant young man of noble blood whose intelligence was perverted to the service of appalling ancient rites. What did he see or envision that transformed him into such a beast? to bring all those wretched souls to the slaughterhouse like so many sheep, then assemble a confederacy of criminals and psychopaths like the sinister Dr. Gijax, who used the sale of precious stones to ensure only the purest and most robust racial specimens were obtained for his purposes. Such men who would survive not only a long voyage imprisoned in the depths of a ship's hold, but the torture and drugs intended to hammer into their brains a sordid litany from the end of ages. Monster and genius, one and the same. Next was the discreet placement of his men in cities ideally located to secure representatives of every nation on earth. Blacks and Chinese gathered in the Americas, the people of Oceania and Asia in London, Eastern and Central Europeans gathered in Switzerland. Their delivery timed to the exact moment and place dictated by ancient rites and a precise stellar alignment. Finally, to find the only building perched over the water, where the builder had the convenient caprice to install Egyptian statues and then to eliminate the lone occupant, taking their place by posing as their nephew and traditional heir to the post. Did genius create the evil, or evil the genius? You are awake, Holmes? Your moans got the better of my sleep, Watson. I assume you had the nightmare again? Indeed, Holmes. And this time the memories of that dreadful adventure were so vivid and real. Everything came back to me, as if it were happening again. All the better, Watson. It is because you had begun to forget. The best therapy would have been for you to write on the subject, but what we saw and endured must never be revealed. True, Holmes. We have never even spoken on it. But do you believe that had we failed, if we had not arrived in time, if this strange ritual had seen its end? Who knows, Watson? Who knows? But you speak of the past. What troubles me more is the future. Whatever do you mean? We eliminated, or have every reason to think so, a formidable threat to our society. But by doing so, we resurrected another, a hidden danger, one laden with hate and moved by vengeance, a ticking bomb waiting, and a danger wearing a face I know far too well. Uh, most likely they're talking about Moriarty. So, um, game's over. Uh... <laughs> Some things I obviously puzzles I got annoyed with, but I or I didn't have patience for. Um, I think the one negative I could say is I can I wish that the horror element was played up much more. Uh, there was a bit. There's a lot of horrific images that come in very short moments. I think the most horrifying thing was the body coming apart with the the leeches or the octopuses or whatever they're supposed to be, but. That was only one bit. Otherwise, you just have. I mean, this I can the like the swamp bit. Uh, it's the question is how do you play up the horrifying image in a point and click adventure? You're not quite. It's not quite in first person. It's there's more relaxed atmosphere. 
But I didn't feel, I mean, I didn't feel any tension from the environment, so to speak. Um, particularly, I mean, the lighthouse is like, whoa, and then you see that, and then what's his name? The guy with the gun who's like literally shooting off bullets every few seconds, dancing around like a monkey? Yeah, that wasn't horrifying. Um, the puzzle got frustrating though, but I do like this. I do, I do like this com in comparison to the prior game. I could follow along a bit more closely with the story that's going on, and the ending. This ending led up to. What I was about to say led up to the um, concept kind of plans for the future because he he's most like he's most definitely talking about Moriarty in the end when he found him. In the Black Elise. But yeah, that's the end of Sherlock Holmes The Awakened. The first person, third person point of view, I like it's easier to navigate in first person. Uh navigating in third person is can get a bit frustrating at times. There's even a moment where they specifically it the chase scene's easier, definitely easier to do use um first person. And I'm not quite sure, I mean, this is a revised version of the game. Revised? Is that the right word? So, where it didn't really, it didn't have the f first person point of view. In The original game didn't have it, but this version does. Or is it third person? I know I'm pretty sure it's first person. But either way, I don't know what I'm going to be doing next. I'll have to look through my catalog of what games, uh, ad adventure games like are, non-adventure games. Um, yeah, so I'll just leave off to the credits. And if you thank you for liking, if you liked, thank you for subscribing, if you subscribed, thank you for commenting, if you commented, thank you for favoriting, if you favorited, thank you for simply clicking on this video. I'm gonna let these credits run unless it's been repeating this entire time and haven't realized. So until next time guys, see ya!